And to finish up this unit on agriculture, it's about time we talk about women and their various roles in agriculture throughout the world. So if you're ready to get them brain cows milked, well, let's get to it. Okay, now of all the things we've considered with respect to agriculture, why in the world are we devoting an entire section to women's roles? Are we gonna have a whole video on men's roles too? No, men are doing just fine, and compared to women, they have a pretty uncomplicated relationship with agriculture worldwide. But women, well, it's not as simple for them. You see, women have always played significant roles in farming since the first agricultural revolution, but over time, Time, these roles have changed and evolved. And the reason why geographers are interested in the roles of women in agriculture is because the elevation of women's roles is often tightly connected to increasing agricultural productivity and increasing food security. Seriously, go check the research and it'll tell you that elevating women and acknowledging their equality always means that more people will be fed and cared for. So yeah, it's real important that you understand this. However, here's where I tell you that the role of women in agriculture varies from place to place depending on the type of production that is involved, which is to say either subsistence or commercial commercial agriculture. And I'll tell you those differences forthwithly, but first let me mention that if you want to get an A in your class and a 5 on your exam in May, you might want to check out my AP Human Geography Heimler Review Guide. It's got whole unit review videos that you won't find here on YouTube, note guides to follow along, practice questions, practice exams, and answer keys for all of it. So if that's something that you're into, check it out. Okay, so let's begin by considering women's roles in places characterized by subsistence agriculture. And by the way, everything I'm about to tell you is a generalization, and these facts can vary from place to place depending on the culture and a dozen other factors. Okay, so in subsistence economy, which are typically found in periphery countries, women tend to take responsibility for all the plant-based food that is grown and eaten in the community. So if a community is going to eat a sweet potato, then women are out in the fields planting and harvesting and preparing that lovely tuber for consumption. Now to further confuse you, among women participating in subsistence agriculture, their roles also vary by the kind of subsistence agriculture in which they engage. For example, women who participate in mixed crop and livestock farming tend to focus on cultivating crops and animals close to the homestead. And that's real important work, so that means that where this kind of farming occurs occurs, women tend to play a big role. But compare that to places in which pastoral nomadism is common, and you'll see that because many of those societies hold to more traditional gender roles, men play a much larger role while women are marginalized. For example, the Maasai people who live in sub-Saharan Africa fit this description nicely. They're all about the cow herding, and while women are permitted to participate in lower order tasks like milking the cows, only men can own the cattle. Additionally, yet another inequality women face in many subsistence economies is that they lack the legal right to own land. For example, in the Republic of the Congo, women cannot own land by law, and yet they are responsible for three quarters of the Congo's agricultural output. Okay, now let's briefly consider the role of women in places where commercial agriculture is the norm, which is to say core countries. Now, there's still a decent amount of variation in women's roles between various commercial economies, but the variation is not nearly as pronounced as it was in subsistence economies. But one comparison that's pretty clear is that way more women practice subsistence agriculture than commercial agriculture. In subsistence economies, something like half the division of labor in agriculture is made up of women. But in commercial economies, women only hold about a third of agricultural jobs, many of whom hold executive or managerial positions. Now, a major reason for this is that rascally old development I've mentioned many times in this unit, namely the Industrial Revolution. You see, because a lot of the agricultural tasks women did became mechanized, their manual labor was no longer needed in that environment. And that contributed to the larger trend in those areas, defining the sphere of a woman as the keeper of the home and the rearer of children. Even so, women still participate in vital ways in commercial agriculture. And to be fair, a growing trend indicates that more and more women are taking on leadership roles in agriculture production, not only in developed countries, but in developing countries as well. Okay, click here to keep reviewing for Unit 5, and click here to grab my AP Human Geography Heimler Review Guide, which has everything you need to get an A in your class and a 5 on your exam in May. And I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Heimler out.